He says he believes it would have saved his son's life. Today, a murdered state police trooper's father came to Frankfurt to push for changes to make those police cruisers safer. Trooper Joseph Cameron Ponder died when a suspect shot through his vehicle last week. Our Sean Moody shows us the possible changes to prevent similar situations. House Speaker Greg Stumbo says he's not ready to endorse any one product at this time, but he wants Kentucky State Police to look at the options available and get back to him with recommendations. Trooper Cameron Ponder's father, Joe, says bulletproof glass would have saved his son's life. It's been a little over a week since Trooper Cameron Ponder was shot and killed through the windshield of his cruiser. His father, Joe, went to Frankfurt today to try to stop that from ever happening again. A bulletproof windshield would have saved my son's life. Thank you. And lastly, to my humble son, Cameron, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Amen. House Speaker Greg Stumbo asked the Kentucky State Police to look into different methods of protecting officers in their cruisers. We're not the experts on safety. Obviously, our officers and our trained staff at KSP are. He said he hopes to have a bulletproof glass bill ready to go before the legislature in January. There's a range of options. One is a bullet-resistant film that goes over the existing glass. Stumbo said that would cost about $5,000 per cruiser. If it were double that, if it were $10,000 a car, that's $6 million to, to uh, protect our entire state police front line workforce. I don't think that's too unreasonable of a cost to look at. And Speaker Stumbo said as far as he's aware, no other agencies in the state have bulletproof glass. In Frankfurt, Sean Moody, WKYT. And Stumbo said officers would be able to return fire through the glass.